hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding computed fields in Udo so there might be some cases where we have to compute some field values based on other fields where user inputs the value for example if I come to HMS application and to the appointment menu so if I open any of the appointment here you can see recently we have introduced a one to many field so if this is one to many field here I can select the product which is like doctor prescribe pres prescribing some pro medicines for the patients so doctor is prescribing some medicine and here he enter entered the quantity as file and here a different medicine of quantity let's say eight so we have entered a quantity of five and eight in two lines so we have total of quantity 13 so let's assume a case where we have to show that total quantity value in the main model that is hospital dot appointment we need to introduce a new field let's say what let's say what total quantity at the header level and it has to be computed based on the quantity entered in the line so let's see how we will do that so first of all we have to introduce a field at the header level then it should be computed field and it should have a compute function so we will jump into the pie charm and here we have appointment dot py function so i'll do one thing this is not related to compute function actually pre in previous video i have missed we can make this product id field required in the line level so simply i have added that so what we were doing we need to add a total quantity field over here so here the quantity field is a float field so i'll just copy the field definition and here i'll add and i'll name it as total quantity so i'll keep the same field definition that is field stored float i need same field type field stored float i'll give the string as total quantity total quantity so this is a normal field definition now what i have to do i have to make it as a computed field so in order to make a compute field you just need to add compute equal to along with the field and you have to specify a function name which is the function i have to trigger on so i'll define the function name as compute total quantity so whenever you define a compute function try to follow this one syntax that is underscore compute then the field name so here is my function name now what i have to do i have to define a function so here i'll specify diff dot compute total quantity so i need to add the logic here so i'll iterate self over a for loop initially for rec in self then what i have to do i have to compute i have to iterate over this one to many lines so inside my main model i have this one to many field so what i'll simply do initially i'll set the value of total quantity as rec dot total quantity as zero simply i'll put rec dot total quantity as zero and what i'll do i'll simply print the value of rec dot appointment line ids for your purpose we will change the function so we have just defined the field it may let's make we made it as compute function compute field a string is given we have defined the compute function and we have set the quantity as zero and let's add that field to the view level so i'll go to the view and here we have appointment view dot xml and where i will add yeah inside this group i'll add the field field name equal to total quantity now let's upgrade and see what happens so if i come back to apps menu let's upgrade the om hospital module so the module is upgraded and if i come to hms and open any appointments here you can see total quantity is coming as zero but if i add a couple of lines over here 12 and another product let's say 4 and if I hit on save in the log you can see this is getting printed this print rec appointment line it is we have two lines in the this model so here you can see what we are getting two lines 
so we have to iterate if there is multiple record set we have to iterate it over a for loop for line in rec dot appointment line ids then if i print print what i'm printing print line value line dot qty i'm just printing the value of like inside rec dot appointment line ids i have these two records then i'm iterating one record at a time so here i'm accessing this field this field name is qty which i know from here so here i have just printed the qty line dot qty now let's restart and let me reload the form so once you reload the form the compute function will be getting executed here here you can see line value is coming as 12 and 4 which is this 12 and 4 now what i have to do i have to just add those values so i'll define a variable here total qty equal to zero then from each iteration i'll change total quantity equal to total quantity plus line dot quantity and i'll set this variable to this field now if i restart and if i refresh we will see the value 16 in this field here you can see total quantity is 16 now if i change this to 25 i'll hit on save you can see total quantity is 37 if i put this as 1 total quantity will be 26 you can see it's getting changed so this is how you can define a compute function so here you can see i can simplify this expression i can just put plus here plus equal to line dot quantity i can simplify like this or you have a method called mapped in Odoo. So you can write like this, or you can just write like what I can say. I can write it as follows rec dot rec dot appointment line IDs mapped qty and here I'll put some of this will also work. So this is a simplified expression i don't need a variable and i don't need to iterate so this will also work so let's see that and if i refresh i hope there will not be any error it's fine now let's change the quantity 25 hit on save it's 50. so this is simplified expression so what does this gives is if i print this one i'll get a list of the values in quantity field so if you refresh now you can see how this is coming you can see it's coming as a list of values from the field if it is 12 hit on save it's coming like list of 12 and 25 then using sum sum is the operation available for list which will add the values inside a list so i have added to the field so we have successfully added a compute field and its function in odo 17 so let's go to the here i have the pie charm sorry i have pg admin so we have the table select star from from where i'll select select star from which is our model hospital dot appointment and if i run this query i can see all my data so in case if you are thinking how i can configure this ui pg admin we already have made a video i'll add that video description video link in the description section so that you can refer that one so i have executed this query and i'm getting the data but if you check the columns you will not find the newly added field total quantity inside the database table so if you check here i have state reference write date create date not date appointment date appointment write your id create your id parent patient id and id but i don't have this field in my database because this is a non-stored computed field so there is two types of computed field which is one is stored in the database and the other one is not stored but it will compute on the fly whenever we load it will compute so i hope you understood the non-stored compute field but i can make this store in the database by adding store equal to true attribute along with the field definition so here i have added store equal to true then let's see what happens previously we don't have the total quantity field like if you select search for search 
total QTY from hospital appointment you will get error column total quantity does not exist it says there is no such column inside this database table now we have added store equal to true attribute now let's upgrade and see what happens so from here I'll upgrade the module so there is no issues the module is successfully upgraded and the log is fine everything is fine and if i run the same query now you can see the quantity the field column has been added now if i select star itself you will see the total quantity field appearing in the in the database table so non-stored field will not be available inside database table stored compute field will be stored in the database level so you may think what is the difference of making store and stored so right now i have made it stored and let's come here so let's jump back to appointment so here i have quantity 37 now if i change it to 50 i change this quantity to 50 you can see this is not working if i change to 45 still the quantity remains the old value right now it has to be 95 45 plus 50 it has to be 95 but it's not recomputing so in order to recompute we have to set proper dependency for the compute function so here we have defined the compute function but i didn't tell the system when to recompute so using at api depends so this is a decorator at api depends i have to specify based on appointment line ids you have to recompute the function here i'll set like appointment line ids dot quantity and you can set this also appointment line ids so based on the one to many line and quantity field in the one to many line you have to recompute yourself i'm specifying the dependency for that compute field now let's restart and see if the value gets recomputed or no so previously when we were changing it was not computing now if i set 55 over here yeah you can see the value is changing immediately if i put one five you can see the value starts changing so this is the difference between the stored compute field and non-stored compute field if it's non-stored compute field there is no need to set proper dependency every time like on saving or loading the form the value will be computed but once you make it store the proper dependency has to be set so that the system can recompute the field value so i hope this is clear for you how we have added the compute field compute function the difference between store equal to true and non-stored and i hope this thing is clear for you so if you have any doubts in compute field feel free to let us know you can connect us in email that is urumates at gmail.com and also you can connect us in social medias like linkedin twitter instagram and facebook so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you